Welcome to the top of Table Mountain here in Cape Town. It is time to see South Africa. Hello everyone. It's our first day here in Cape Town and we're heading towards Cape Point, but we stopped off at a place called Boulders Beach to see some penguinos, some little penguins. <gasps> Look, they are hiding in the trees. They're everywhere. Here we have Tash, as per, and our local friend Catherine. Hi. Oh my god. Look at the chicks. Can you see them? This country promises to be amazing, and the fact I've seen penguins on day one. Uh, incredible. Incredible. So let's get down to the beach and see more. Ooh. Hi, buddy. Is your name Happy? Yeah. No. That house behind it is actually. He's from Surf's Up. You come look here. Wait, who is this again? I'm pretty sure that's it. In you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just paid entry for the beach. It's 170 rand if you're a foreigner. South African nationals, 42 rand. So I feel like we've been empty. mugged off a bit here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, apply for a green card and get the discount, honestly. They apparently bite. So I won't go too close. What are they? See what sort of dogs are the ocean? These are the puppies. <laughs> oh my god. Look at them all. Oh. They are so cute. <laughs> Get your fish. Get your fish, brother. <laughs> Wait. Oh, they're all going. Oh my god, they're all going. <laughs> Fly, fools. We're done seeing the penguins on the beach down there. It's quite good, really, because they don't let you get too close. So people can't interact with them. So they're, I mean, there's a boardwalk, but they're kind of left to their own device. Honestly, what a start to the trip. I'm happier than I've ever been, to be honest. This is top 10 moments of my life. Happy day. <laughs> Happy feet. <laughs> and also this place, they have like little container. It's like put into the ground and the penguins reside inside them. I guess they can use that to sleep or they can use it to lay eggs or just use it to relax. Quite a lot of them are filled up with penguins. And there's a lot of these. It's everywhere, to be honest. <laughs> oh. On the way to Cape Point, woo. Woo, woo, woo. we have arrived at the walk. We can either do Cape of Good Hope or Cape Point and see the lighthouse. Let's start with Cape Point and head on up. <laughs> It's a very awesome spot and it's very windy, so wrap up. <laughs> and over there it's the new lighthouse because apparently this one is always covered in clouds and you can't see anything. <laughs> if you do want to access Cape of Good Hope and Cape Point area, it costs 360 rand for a foreigner, but it is absolutely worth it. Yes. Good value, hey? This place is huge. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. They got the baboons. They've come out to play. <laughs> Eating their fruit. Look at their bums. They are dangerous. Look at that red bum. <laughs> Here we 
we have a pigeon. <laughs> hey, hey pals. Here we are, Cape of Good Hope. The most southwestern point on the African continent. Yeah, I am. Let's get a photo. Nice shot! Why is it called Good Hope? Is there such thing as bad hope? These are the questions that must be asked. Why are you ruining things for tourists? Huh? Why are you ruining things? Little, little, little. What have we found? What have we found? On a little journey. It's a zebra. <laughs> what, what is South Africa? Why are there all these animals everywhere? <laughs> this is amazing. It's another day and we are here at the bottom of Table Mountain. I'm about Woo! to hike up it. Um, if you look here, there goes the cable car. Today we're not going to take the cable car. No, we're going to we walk it. We're going to hike. Look at the view. Already, it's going to be absolutely spectacular when we get up the top. Alright then, let's get Hi. going. I haven't started the hike yet. No. We are doing the Platicle Gorge <laughs> hike. Yeah. There are like four or five hikes that you can do up to Table Mountain. This one is uh, one of the easiest. The easier one. Yeah, so we're being pathetic, but we don't have the time. This is we the quickest one, this is the easiest one. Shoes. Yeah, and I'm wearing vans and Tasha's wearing docks. To get to the start of this hike, we need to walk past the cable car station all the way back there. And he said, look for a shed. We're looking for a shed right now, and a then there should be. Shed. So we're going to be walking along this road for a kilometre and a half. And there should be paths and signs to tell us where to make us our way up. And apparently, depending on your fitness levels, it should take between one and a half to two and a half hours. So maybe it takes us a few. Find the shed then. Ah, yes, the famous wooden shack. We are and here, here we are at Platy Clip Gorge. All right, yeah. where are we going? Up, 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 and then zigzag, 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 zigzag. Cable way. Look, you're allowed to have a hat with a sun on top. Great. All right, let's go. Wish us luck on our Lekka hike. Thank you. All right, let's have it. How are we doing? Struggling a bit. The sun is strong. <laughs> that is the home stretch. Who knows how long the home stretch will be, but... It's a shame. Yeah, let's go. Here we are looking back at the gorge we just trekked up. So steep. It wasn't too bad really. It's very steep. But it's gorgeous. Yeah, right. Onwards. It looks straight from here on out. Why did you not Fingers crossed. Huh? It's gorgeous. I didn't even catch it. Mm. <laughs> it is gorgeous to be fair. <laughs> Have we made it? Water. Yes. You've been welcomed at the top by this guy. Hey, little guy. <laughs> oh, he's eating. Good. And it is so flat up here. Look at this. Wow. Really cool. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I knew it looked flat from the bottom when you see it, it's all flat, but I cannot believe how flat it is when you're up here. What? Like, there's no incline. <laughs> it's just, we've been walking just dead plateaued the last like couple of minutes. It's really cool. And the views are gonna be insane once we reach the end of this path. Just so you know, the hike itself up to the top took us about two hours we stopped every five minutes or so 
it probably more frequent to be honest and just had a little couple of minutes to ourselves to rejuvenate and get energized but honestly i'd recommend that hike it wasn't too bad a bit rocky very steep but i did it in vans you might read online that it says that it's not as scenic as the others i thought it was stunning yeah it was beautiful but we haven't done the other ones so we don't know how much better they are maybe by comparison yeah. but that was incredible do it Okay, so this area leads down there. That's where Cape of Good Hope and Cape Point is, which we were at before. And we saw the zebra, and that was ostrich. That's what we saw, I remember now. And then okay. over there, Pringle Bay, apparently, which sounds very yummy. I like the name. Yeah. Like. And then over here is uh, an Australian. <laughs> Australia. There we go. Here we are. At the summit, we summited a mountain. Yay! We're at McClear's Beacon, which was put up apparently in 1844 by someone called Thomas McClear. Yeah, Thomas McClear. What a journey it's been, eh, Tash? It's been lovely. Yeah. Lush. Enjoyed it a lot. Say lush. Been a good old hike, this. Good old hike on one of the oldest mountains in the world. Apparently. Some of the rocks here are 600 million years old, which is just incomprehensible, to be honest. But we've had a good time. She is beauty. Well, have the, the 12 apostles. You can see the top of every peak in the area and it looks stunning you can see out for absolutely miles wow i believe that there is camps bay there's uh, some nice beaches down there which we might visit later okay heading to the cable car now what a day for it we've been very lucky over the weather completely clear <sighs> nice temperatures it's good now let's get the cable car down <laughs> There we are, we're at the bottom of the cable car now. There's snakes apparently around to so be careful, but getting Uber back to the hotel now and chill. We need to relax.